Friction. In this video, we will see how to calculate the force required to pull a box resting on an inclined surface. In our previous video, we calculated the force required to pull a box when the applied force is at an angle. Suppose this box is resting on a plane inclined at 20 degrees. In this case, how much force is required to pull the box? Let's understand this. Consider the weight of the box to be 300 newtons, and the coefficient of friction between the box and the inclined surface to be 0.14. Let's swiftly transform this into a free body diagram. The key point to understand here is that in our previous video, we summed the horizontal and vertical forces and equated them to zero to find the force P. Since the pulling force acts in one direction, the frictional force will act in the opposite direction. Here, we will do the same. However, if we consider our horizontal and vertical axes as in previous problems, we will have three inclined forces, the pulling force P, the reaction force R, and the frictional force F. To solve this problem, we need to resolve all these forces. But if we change our perspective and consider the inclined plane as our horizontal axis and the perpendicular to the inclined surface as our vertical axis, we will have only one inclined force, the weight W of the body. Now, solving this is very simple. For this new axis, we have only one inclined force, which is the weight of the body. Next, we need to equate the summation of horizontal and vertical forces to zero to find the force P. Since the weight of the body acts downward and is inclined to our considered axis, we need to resolve the weight of the body into its components. To do this, we need to find the angle made by the weight of the body with our considered horizontal axis. If we project the weight of the body downward, we can form a triangle where the angle of inclination of the plane is 20 degrees, and the angle between the weight and the perpendicular is 90 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angle is 70 degrees. These angles are vertically opposite to each other, therefore, they will be equal. Additionally, these angles are corresponding angles, so this angle will also be 70 degrees. Now that we have the required angle, we can resolve the force W into our considered vertical and horizontal axes. The horizontal component of W is given by 300 newtons times the cosine of 70 degrees, and the vertical component is given by 300 newtons times the sine of 70 degrees. Since we now have all the forces acting on the body from our considered horizontal and vertical axes, we can proceed with the summation of horizontal and vertical forces. Let's sum up the vertical forces. Remember, the sign convention is positive for forces acting upward and negative for forces acting downward along our vertical axis. So, we have the reaction force R acting upward, minus 300 sine 70 degrees acting downward, equal to zero. Rearranging this equation, we get the reaction force R equal to 300 sine 70 degrees, which is 281.9 newtons. Next, we sum all the horizontal forces and set them to zero. Forces acting to the right are considered positive, and forces acting to the left are negative. So, we have the force P minus 300 cosine 70 degrees minus the frictional force F equal to zero. We know the frictional force F is given by the coefficient of friction times the reaction force. Substituting the values of the coefficient of friction and the reaction force, this will be 39.47 newtons. Therefore, we get the force P minus 300 cosine 70 degrees minus 39.47 newtons. This minus 300 cosine 70 degrees will be minus 102.6. If we further simplify, we get the force P equal to 142.07 newtons. Therefore, the force required to pull the box resting on an inclined plane is 142.07 newtons. I hope this video helped you understand how to calculate this. But what if this pulling force was also at an angle? How would you calculate the force required to pull the box then? To find out, watch my next video. If you like this video, click the like button and support my work by sharing this video with your friends. If you are new to my channel, ADTW study, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching till the end.